a series called Reversing the Darkness. You know, you all have heard me call Dr. Timothy since, well, for a little over a year now. You can sit down. Yes, I said thank you. <laughs> you all have heard me call Dr. Timothy, or people call me, call me Dr. Timothy uh, since joining the church. And the question is, who is this Dr. Timothy? He's well, Timothy. I'm, I'm Reverend Timothy Hopland. I'm ordained minister. Right. Much more important than that, though, I'm born again by faith in Christ Jesus. He, he called me into his ministry a long time ago. I'm also co-founder of True Hope Ministries of America, which is a service and support community of biblical Christian ministers. And I also founded Word for Life Ministry, which is how I personally minister uh, in churches, guest speaking, guest preaching, guest teaching, and so forth. But I want to share with you um, about my salvation. My life in Christ began on November 9th, 1976. Prior to that, I was very involved in drugs, and my religion was witchcraft. And I'm not going to get into all the details and all that. That's not necessary. But I do want you to hear <clears throat> what led to my salvation, because it is a profound, a very dynamic illustration of God's power over the power of the devil. The reason for this series is tonight, I want to help edify, equip, and enable God's people, you here tonight, to recognize, identify, and biblically respond to supernatural activities and powers of darkness, which are practiced by people outside and within the churches. I'm not talking about church people practicing witchcraft, that's not what I'm saying, but certain things that both church people and church leaders are doing, whether done innocently or intentionally. And through this series, we'll empower you to break free from any degree, any level, past or present, of demonic supernatural attachments resulting from involvement or participation in what would be called occult activities or supernatural uh, engagements. So through this series, you'll be equipped, and I want to say that again, you will be equipped to set strong, biblical, spiritual parameters in your life, to apply the truth concerning the supernatural, to recognize works of darkness, and to renounce powers of darkness that may be holding places of influence in your life. Before we close out, Pastor, do you have anything you want to say? I won't be long, but um, when, when uh, uh, Dr. Timothy first pointed that difference out to me, I kind of did a double take. Because you know, all of your life you learn certain ways to use words. Because as I thought about it, it made good sense. Satan is a created being, and supernatural is rooted in the natural. Spiritual supersedes, supersedes it all. And like our brother was sharing from uh, deception, Satan's greatest power against the people of God is deception. That's right. We believe the lies that we've heard from varieties of places instead of believing the truth of the word of God. We're going to continue in this because remember the goal isn't to just let you know there's a problem. The goal is to show you the solution.